All right, this is obviously a Rhodes uh, copy. <clears throat> This is not a Sandoval. This is one that I had made by a, a guy, a friend of mine, JJ, who no longer makes guitars. He decided furniture, because uh, he said the competition with uh, China is too ridiculous that he wouldn't even think of it. He might make me another one, but I doubt it, and I'm not counting on it. This was nice enough. And he got it right for the most part. These aren't the right size, but they're close. And he goes, so it's just a flying V with a different headstock and these bow ties, and got to make sure that these are in the right place in between. Yeah, and this is the right kind of input jack. Yep, that's it. But I want a, he had a regular fender. I want a, I want a Floyd put in. Because he would have went Kaler, I think. And I have another one that's made exact that has a Kaler on it. And, uh, and a Super Distortion. This is a DiMarzio Super Distortion. I had a DiMarzio PAF in here, but I, I never use it. Ever. And it wasn't even hooked up. It was just so it was right. Like, that's a waste. So I popped it out and put it in something else that I'd actually use. And I don't even know what this is. It could be, I don't know. But it's just to fill a hole. <laughs> eh. This was to be a phase. I've got, this is the kill. <laughs> A lot harder to get used to than but I didn't like this here I should have kept it so what I did this was the kill switch for this so I would if I hit this that would bypass this and it would just go in I said dude just disconnect this button because these all glowed blue too which also kind of is cool but I have so many of them one two three three because this was going to be uh, a boost so they, they have these uh, little boosters for that you can put in and just it'll boost the output of this pickup or whatever I said nah forget it so really this is a Van Halen guitar because I had to make it out of uh, I think that's wood and I said, it's just a flying V. All I give because he had like two weeks to do this. And it was a project that he was doing for his wood class. This is not a kid. It's an adult. And he shot it out. And he got the... <laughs> so if anybody really looks and they know the Randy Rhodes flying V. Really know. And if they, you know, took the time. Uh, they know right off that this isn't a Sandoval. This isn't a exact replica it's a flying V with the correct headstock but uh, it's actually a Gibson see because you look there's the head the neck the bow ties are a little small but hey dude I got this for 200 bucks and then if that's the neck say these are the shoulders on a normal roads, they go like th that. So that's a dead giveaway for all of you guys that are looking. This is mine. I said I want this set up so I'm comfortable playing it. So it sounds like I want. And I got it, man. This thing is a beast. But a normal roads goes kind of like that. The shoulders aren't big. This is an ex the exact... I because I measured it and it turns out it's an exact uh, measurements of a Gibson uh, flying V. <laughs> so whatever. So he did that and but he got the body dead on and it for a Gibson. And then he put the spot. He put the polka dots and 
put everything right, and he did it in two weeks. And he, uh, the, and this has a trust ride cover. I said, don't, you know, don't do any research. Just make a flying V and put, you know, what I tell you to and put things where I tell you to. And he did. So, I had him also, because I wanted it to be, remain warm sounding. And in my head, I still think if you're going to have it, you want a nut to give it that warm because metal on metal it'll give you it ups that uh, thin sound so I had a uh, a come on to help me Kaler here and this has a truss rod that's why it's got a cover and then the actual uh, Rolls-Royce uh, headrest and you would not believe how much this costs. But I got a pretty good relationship with Rolls Royce now. And they give me stuff for a good price. These are just regular showers. And that is it. This is a replica, exact replica the, that everybody knows. This. I don't know the name, but uh, they've made I me mean, like three different for my for this, the black one. The Black Jackson and the uh, Concord. I just haven't gotten around to getting the snake skin because, I don't know, I just I actually don't like it. But, so I got like a fake snake skin and it works, but I'm, eventually I'll have to do it. So, there you go. That's all the talking I'm doing today. I want you guys to go listen to the me playing the organ. I went up and someone let me into the church. So I was able to do this. I just popped it out in like 10 minutes. You know, I haven't played piano or keyboards since I was 12 or earlier. So it was amazing I could remember anything. And I wanted something in D and in C and then in between. So not in between C and D, but C and D. And I did it. And it's just, it's little bits to be added into songs. I'm not composing a great thing but it's pretty cool so check it out uh metal pipe organ demo one and two and you know mind you i'm alone in the church and uh it's scary <laughs> not scary but it's cool it, it was cool to do so let's try and do a uh, randy road stuff <laughs> Just for the head. And then I'll jam. I don't feel like playing the same old stuff I've been doing, so.